Who's that? Look, who's that? Who's that? <gasps> Hashtag health, wealth, life. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is my little man, Mr. Lincoln, Master Lincoln James Grant. Who's that, Papa? Look. Who's that? He's going to have his dinner. Steve, how are you, mate? Hello, <laughs> I got. I didn't cut my finger, actually. Well, I did, but for on purpose. I'm not a self harmer. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Anyway, we're going to take the little man for Din Dins. Yes, yes. Here he goes. Michelle Patel, say hello to Auntie Michelle. Say hello. Say hello. Yeah. Yeah. It's Auntie Virginie. <laughs> anyway, little sidetrack. Okay, there's the little man. How are you, Michelle? You well? Uh, anyway, let me explain this. I'm not a self harm. I did. Uh... <laughs> Hi, Rose. I know you're talking to Lincoln, not me. Ben, how are you? <laughs> Long time no see. It's been at least two hours. <laughs> um, I did this. I did my uh, Amiga test today. Test my uh, Amiga levels in my blood. Um, and you have to do a pinprick and you just keep that on for a few hours after. So, anyway, that's what that is. So. Um, to sort it out the little man. So question, what's the, what's the number one thing that you've learned so far? 58 videos today, uh, health, wealth, life, hashtag health, wealth, life. Uh, what's the number one thing you've learned? Let me know. Pop it in the comment box below. Um, or send me a message if you want to talk more about it. I'd, I'd really be interested to know. So, um, you know, what did we go through the last few days? How to scoff yourself thin, um, results versus activities. Uh, and how it's virtually impossible to look good when you're getting better at something. And I use the analogy of being in the gym. So, you know, if you're, if you're doing your personal best, if you're trying to hit a new weight, if you're trying to get more reps than you've done before, you're going to look, you're going to look ragged. And that's the same with anything. So uh, public speaking, doing a video like this, whatever it is, just do it again and again until you get better at it. Um, that's what we want to blast through. Particularly in the gym, people get stopped before they even get started. So don't get stopped before you get started. And don't uh, forget to never remember. So question, question for you. Uh, what, do you what do you spend most of your time focusing on? And let me refine that a little bit. So what do you spend most of your time focusing on? And I'll refine that because you could go anywhere with that, right? So what I mean is, do you focus more on the things you have or the things that you want the things you don't have? Do you focus on uh, things you can control or things that are out of your control, like the weather or maybe politics? We have somewhat control with a vote, but things that are in your control, things that are out of your control. Um, did you know that um, this, is a, this is a statistic? Most depressed people focus on things that are out of their control. So that makes sense, right? If you're constantly focusing on things out of your control, you feel like your life is, is not in your hands, uh, and that would make you feel sad, right? Unless you completely give up to you know, a divine spirit, maybe, uh, and become completely uh, religious, possibly. Um, but most people will focus on that, and that's one of the reasons why they feel down, why they feel depressed. Um, focus on the success and growth of my business. Excellent. That's not, not how many people, how many other people do you know like that? I would suspect you could count them on one hand, maybe two, maybe two, um, and not just like that for a week or a month or even a year, because to stay like that for a year is, uh, the little man's eating, to stay like that for a year is quite a challenge. So Virginia, how many people do you know like that? Do you know lots? Focus on your health, Rose, that's great, brilliant, that is also a good thing. So focus on your health in what way? In a positive way, so my health is getting better, I'm I'm feeling healthier and more vital than I did last week, last month. I'm losing weight maybe, or I'm gaining weight if whatever your goal is, or I'm gaining muscle tone. You know, what is your focus? Let me know. Pop it in, pop it in. Um, do you focus on fear? You know, do you find yourself that you're fearing a lot of things? 20 to 30 people, amazing. That's absolutely amazing. So I think that's quite, that's rare in the everyday person uh, realm shall we say. Uh, but I know a little bit more about you and what, what you're into, so that makes sense. 
But I think that's rare, and I think you'd agree that's that's all that's probably rare for most people we meet in everyday life. It depends on our circle, right? Sammy, how are you, mate? Good, hope to see you soon. Hope you're well. Um, do you focus on the future? Do you focus on the future or the past? Okay, so your team, you have a team of, of like-minded people. That's good. So we become the average of the five people we spend the most time with, or if you can get more than five positive people in your life, you're onto a winner. Uh, and focus on improvement, yes, to improve and get better. So if we can get more of those people, and that's part of what this group is all about, all about this conversation, this everyday conversation is all about. Brett, good to see you, mate. Hope you're well and the baby's well. <laughs> Keep up those lunges. There was a good video the other day. Um, so do you focus on the past or, or the future most of the time? Or the present? Where is your mindset most of the time? So I'm asking you, what do you focus on most of the time? Where do you find most of your focus? And uh, there's a good little uh, analogy around um, past, present, future, what we should do with that. And uh, what we should do is uh, accept the past, embrace the future, and live in the present. If you haven't read The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, I highly suggest it. It's an amazing book. And he explains that the only moment we truly have power is in, in, the mo in now, in this moment. In the now. The Power of Now is the book. It's an amazing book. Um, grab it today off Amazon and read it as soon as you can. It's a fantastic book. I've read that book maybe seven times. I carried it around with me for a year, probably more than seven times. It's an excellent book. Highly recommend it. And it talks about being in the now because I, I'm always focusing and, and, and projecting into the future because I'm driving forward a lot. So that's where I can get out of balance. I need to come back, be in the now and actually spend more time in the now because I'm constantly uh, thinking ahead. So that's my balance. But what's going on for you? Maybe you spend more time in the past. I don't know. Or maybe you spend more time in the now, the present. The only time we can really affect our lifestyles are in this moment, right? And there's, there's four ways to get a breakthrough. Uh, three. Three areas to get a breakthrough. I've got this from uh, Tony Robbins. If you haven't checked out any of his stuff, it's amazing. Um, and he talks about getting a breakthrough. You need to look at strategy, uh, story, and state. Yes, change your state. <laughs> He's hungry. So strategy, story, and state. And they're actually in reverse order. You think you'd set up a strategy, then get your story going, and then that would help with your state. But it's like be, do, have. Remember that video? If you haven't seen that, skim through and watch that once. Worth watching and catching that information. We need to... Um, we think if we had this certain things, had a certain amount of money, we could do this thing, and we'd be this way, happy. So but it's actually the other way around. We need to be happy and be settled in, in our current state and then we can actually attract and have the things that we want and then we can um, do the things we want as well. Be, do, have. Yeah. Anyway, you get my point. So it's back to front. So it's the same with that. We actually want to set our state first, set our state and then get our story right. So we need to, the, one of the questions leading into the story is where do you spend most of your focus? So if most of your focus is on, I'm not smart enough, oh, I couldn't do that, I don't have the confidence, or I, I can't do that event, uh, I can't present at that event because I don't have the confidence for it, or I don't have the intelligence for it, or I didn't have the right upbringing, or my family wasn't privileged enough and haven't got enough money, wherever your focus is, then that's going to be your story. So it's the story you're telling yourself. Now we need to change that story, and the first way we do it is by changing our state. So one way I suggest is find the state that you want. So if it's going to be you know happy, vibrant, positive, and energized, and uh, really upbeat, then f remember a time in your life when you had that. When you, you had maybe it was a, uh, a fleeting moment, maybe it was uh, something you had for a while. But remember a time in your life. Maybe that's now. All right. So I hope it is for you. So if you can get back into that state, just remember it. Just get back into that state for a moment, and, and then you start thinking, right, now my story is going to be this. And there's a more of a positive story and outlook about it. And then you set a strategy. So you're going to say, right, these are the activities that are going to get me towards my goal. Let's say body transformation again. So I'm going to get to the gym four times a week and I'm going to do resistance training. It's got to be hypertrophy and it needs to be a certain amount of time under tension and rest periods and a certain amount of reps and the weight's going to be right because I know that because I've been writing that down as well. And that's my strategy and so on and so forth. You add the strategies and you stack the strategies and then you keep your state Get, keep telling yourself the right story and then you get the strategy and apply that. So that's how to make a breakthrough. But uh, the focus is, the question I want you to think about is where do you spend most of your focus? Where is most of your focus? Is it on positive? Is it on negative? And it's not wrong or right. It's not bad or, or even good. But just notice where it's at and is it where you really desire to be? Virginia, I think yours is, which is quality. 
well done. And you're, you've also got a team leading them to do the same thing. It's a fantastic thing. You're doing some really good things in the world. Uh, and that's part of this conversation. It's part of Health Wealth Life. So just to be, bring awareness to it, first of all, and then how just to layer in some strategies around what we can do once we've become aware of, ah, I spend most of my time in, in a negative uh, connotation today, in a negative thought pattern today. Well, I didn't really blast out. I, every time I went to do my to-do list, uh, I made an excuse or I found something else to do. You know, so you didn't get all the things done. So we need to look at state and constantly before you do anything, what I would say, um, before you, you make a phone call, before you sit down and write a piece of work, before you make a, make a social blog, for instance, or a social post even, um, get, set your state. Set your state to what you really want to project. It might be health, might be vitality, might be energy, might be positivity, whatever it is, whatever it is you want to get out there. It might be health, wealth. Um, set that state and then run it through the story that you're going to give, the way it's going to go, and then have your strategy. Go and do it. Okay? So that's the, that's the lesson. That's the insight from today. Uh, I also filmed a video today with... Uh, with a business owner and it's helping women who've just had babies get back into action, get back fit, get their bodies back. And you, you do two things really, which I, I thought, which came out from the conversation and the interview. I'll post that tomorrow um, to keep an eye out for that. But you do two things. You One, you, you start to get active again as a new mum, and also you, uh, you've got a community there. So you meet friends because it can be isolating sometimes. You've got the baby and they're, they're just full on job. They're more than a full on job. Um, as much as you love them, they're more than a full on job. <laughs> so you just don't have the time. So it's a brilliant idea. And I'll post that video later uh, tomorrow. And uh, finishing off today, just want to say doo -doo -doo, I've got a course coming up. I've got a course coming up which is called Seven Week Body Transformation or 49 Online. 49 Online. It's an online training course uh, that you're welcome to check out if you're interested. Type 49 Online in the comment box. And I'll be happy to send you a three-minute introduction, no obligation, just watch the video and see what you think. I'll be interested on your thoughts. Jonathan, long time no see. Hope you're well. And um, that's it for today, guys. That's it for today. Where is your focus? Focus on the positive, focus on the negative. How do we break through? Set your state. What's the story that's going to happen? Set your strategy. Stack those activities within your strategy. Follow it to the end. Set your state. Get your story, get your strategy. That's the breakthrough. And the first step is, where's your focus? Notice where it is. Oh, I'm in the negative. Ooh, let's correct that. The positive and negative can't survive at the same time. Darkness can't survive if you bring light. Exactly the same thing. You can't have a positive and negative thought at the same time. So catch yourself with whatever thought you're having. If it's a good one, project it, carry it on, boost it up. If it's a negative one, nip that in the bud, throw it to the side, bring in a positive one. And let's just keep doing that. It's rewiring, rewiring, rewiring until it's, uh, until it's done and automatic. All right? All good. Where is your focus? If you're watching this as, as a live, if you're watching this as a recording, pop the message in. Any question I've asked, I am talking to you. I am talking to you. So don't leave me hanging. Pop, a, pop the answer in the comment box or message me directly. Happy to have those conversations. Danny, good to see you, mate. Hope you're well. Hope you had a good day. You been down the gym? Get in the gym, mate. Keep the training up. Um, and that's it for today. If you haven't seen the video, if you come on just at the end, skim back to the beginning, catch that and let me know what you thought in the box or message me directly. And remember, give us a share. Thumbs up. Give me a share. Help get the message out. If you know that this resonated with you and could possibly help one of your friends or one of your family, then please give me a share and uh, let's get the message out. And tomorrow be here at 6 p.m. Bring a friend to the party. <laughs> Do some invites, bring them in, and let's have a chat. Let's get this conversation going. Hashtag health, wealth, life. Sammy, is that a positive future? I'm betting it is. Uh, been this morning, mate, enough to squash now. Perfect. Two sessions in one day, Danny. Brilliant. Keep that, mate. Well done. Sammy, keep the future positive. Keep it bright. Keep it bright. Keep it here tomorrow, 6 p.m. I'll see you all then. Take great care of yourself and everyone around you. And remember, happy is a skill that you can learn and this is a better way to bring out your personal best. Let's go get some health wealth and take the world with us. See you tomorrow, guys, 6 p.m. Adios.